These are called fry breads. Now, that's not what Terry called them. Indian that, fry bread. Indian fry bread. Uh, if you grew up in the South, it was called fried dough. In the Midwest, we called them elephant ears, Ooh, which is weird because in Indiana, we didn't have any elephants, okay? <laughs> But the gentleman who creates this has created a family recipe that is probably the most versatile thing that you can have in your refrigerator. That's just melted butter. Oof. But you take the melted butter and a little bit oh, oh boy. of sugar and like I said, garlic and, and herb. <laughs> you put it in that synonymon. You know that stuff? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Cinnamon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And you've got the ultimate dessert. But I had a chance last night to try these for the very first time. And I was talking to Brian Bunting, who you're going to meet. He's the guy who creates these. And he said, use it as pizza dough and make a pizza with one of them. And I thought, oh, that sounds like a good idea. And it is absolutely to Oof. die for. Yeah. The flavors, quite frankly, I don't know if you could make these at home. But we've done everything from pizzas. Uh, we've got like a fish taco. We've got a little bit of, of steak, uh, arugula here. And all you do is just simply enjoy. Now, the price that we're offering is going to bring to you eight big fry beds. And they're eight and a half inches in their overall diameter. And they come to you absolutely fresh. This is the one item My that I can think one. of that doesn't come flash frozen, doesn't need dry ice. You're gonna get two of these packs and inside each one of these packs, you get four of these great big fry breads. So you're gonna to wanna to put them in the refrigerator if you're gonna eat them soon, or you could put them in the freezer and in the freezer, they'll last for up to a year. This has only been on the air one time, and that was back in July of last year. Well, they sold out so quickly. There is so much love that goes into making these for our audience that I think, again, it's probably one of the most versatile things that you can have in your home kitchen. This can be a breakfast delight. It can be a dessert. It can be a, a full meal, like a pizza dough. You can use it as a late night snack. When we start gathering, with friends once again, this will be the thing that they talk about as they leave your front door <clears throat> and head back home. I get to introduce you to Brian Bunting. He's in his own kitchen with social distancing and Skype. Brian, I had the greatest conversation with you yesterday. It is so good to see you. How are you, my friend? Good, how are you? Are you guys ready to have some fun today with the original fun food? Oh yeah. So good. So th this whole idea started with your father in his passion to bring something to the marketplace that, that had only been regionally known in little pocket communities, right? Absolutely. Well, tell yeah, us. It was actually a little church fair that uh, my dad was asked to make some fried dough for it. And he didn't have a way to make it on site, so we decided to try and make it at home, and bam, fabulous fried breads was created. Uh, and, and really nobody in the country is doing what you do. So I find it very exciting. Uh, let's talk about some of the, the meals that you can prepare or the snacks or desserts that you can do. And I wanna point out one thing, always, 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 eat this warm. Mm. You can heat this up 350 degrees in an air fryer for just a matter of a few minutes, like three minutes and it's done. But you get you get so much flavor in this. Uh, I'm so glad that you're finally back with us. Once you warm it up, Terry, I just have hummus mm. here. What is it that you're doing to this fried dough that makes it taste so much better than just, say, a traditional bread? Well, you know, if we take the time to do it right, we don't rush the process. It's a yeast raised product and you can't rush yeast when it's ready. It's ready. You want to see the coolest? apple treat you've ever seen, Terry? Ooh. I want to draw your eyes into Now, again, this now becomes either the foundation for something magical or it becomes a, a standalone dessert. Last night, I got to tell you, Brian, my wife and I had a pizza using your, your fry bread. Wow. And the flavor was absolutely perfect. Now, usually pizza dough is your least favorite part of the pizza. You know, it's all about the toppings. Not in this case. Mm -mm. It was all about the fried bread. And it, it's a flavor 
that, that I want more of. This sold out. The only time that Brian was with us, and that was all the way back in, in July of last year. So here we are able to offer you now for $24.84 on Easy Pay and with free shipping and handling, something that Brian, quite frankly, I don't know that I would even know how to make this from scratch at home. So you've done all the hard work. It's one of the easiest things to add into menu planning of what we have in the show today. Well, you could actually, this, this product, you could take almost anything in your pantry and create anything yes. at almost any time. It can be sweet, it can be savory, it can be an appetizer. It's just an all-around fun, fun food to do. I like it in the summertime when you get some friends over, you're going out and you're cooking out on the grill. And you know what? We'll bring out a fry bed, just throw it on the grill, flip it over once or twice, little butter, a little powdered sugar. Boom, you've got yourself a little dessert. Nice. Right it's, out with the family. It is so easy. I just have to jump in here because I grew up in New Mexico. We had the Indian fry bread. They would sell it on the side of the street. This tastes exactly like it, and it totally takes on the flavor of whatever you put on it. Um, so the other day, my girls were hungry. It was like halfway through the day, and I just grabbed some, some marinara sauce that I had made a couple nights before. I put some yeah. mozzarella cheese on it. We even had some... Um, pepperoni and it made the most delicious pizza and like you said Dan yeah. that was so smart about the um, I'm gonna tell you you're smart a lot by the way because uh, I oh, think you, you are um, they loved the, the pizza dough is like the, the yeah it's kind of like the the, the the place for all of the rest of the goodness in a pizza this alone they asked afterwards for more of just the bread well, here's the thing that, that's most special about this product. So when you, say, cook up a pizza, you're cooking it in an oven, and you're drawing the moisture out of the product. A fry bread is, is cooked in oil, so oil and water don't mix. They're battling each other, so more moisture yep. stays inside the bread, which what makes it so chewy and fluffy and just makes it so it takes on any flavor of whatever you want to put on top of it. It's really the original fun food. There are few true experts in the world with fry bread, fry dough, or again, what we call elephant ears. What Brian has done, again, taking the time to perfect it, to make sure that each one is absolutely at its preem at the time that they're packaged. Here's what you're gonna get, but you're gonna get two of these. These are resealable, so you tear off the top. There's a zip lock here. Uh, there's four of those big eight and a half inch. In this bag, you'll get a second bag when you get them at home, don't expect dry ice in there because they don't have to be sent frozen. When you get them at home, go ahead and put them okay. in the refrigerator if you're gonna eat them shortly or put them in the freezer. Again, Brian, up to a year. It is so good to have you back at QVC. <coughs> Thank you so much. To kick off a big five-hour gourmet holiday. Uh, continued success with what you and your family do. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you, sir. Take care. We've got a lot more coming up, a big five-hour gourmet holiday event coming up a little bit later on in the day. This is Australia.